This is Tony and Susan Alamo coming to you from the Grand Ole Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, thank you. And uh, welcome to the next half hour with Tony and Susan Alamo. We're so glad to have you with us for this next half hour. The Lord bless you, and we just pray to the Lord that we will be a blessing to you as you receive us into your homes, your offices, or wherever you are. are. So stay right here for the next half hour, right with us. And now, Tony Alamo to sing, Jesus is the only way. You know, I love to hear Tony sing. I'm Tony's great fan. And every song that he sings, the gospel songs, I love them all because there's such message in song to this world today. And listen to the words of this very carefully because truly Jesus really is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. And I'm sure sold on him. Oh, they say that he's a square, that Jesus, he ain't no is the only way yes you can find him in the bible pages jesus he's the rock of ages he hides me in the cleft of the rock jesus is the only way jesus jesus is the only sword and my shield Jesus is the only way Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the king said in the fire they must go they found out that the fire would burn they were saved by the only the truth. Jesus is the only way to eternal life. So many times you hear people say that they can live their own lives as they choose, and they can do whatever they choose to do with that life. But this isn't true, because no man lives unto himself, and no one dies unto themselves. Whatever we do on this side of eternity, either be it good or bad, then one of these days at the judgment bar of God when this life is finished, then surely we shall stand before a living God and we shall give account unto him for what we have done with these fleeting years, these fleeting days and hours and moments on this side of eternity. And when we realize that God has made such a perfect way of escape for us from our sins, that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life through him. Those are the most glorious words in this world. When you think about the despair, think about so many people searching for peace 
all over the world, not only in our nation, but all over the world. And you see the great and mighty outpouring of the Spirit today and thousands of people coming to that place at the foot of the cross, that they're opening the door of their heart and they're saying, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make me a new creature because I realize that there is something desperately wrong in my life. And how often you hear testimony after testimony that I had all the materialistic things that I desired, but yet there was an emptiness, there was a void. And I knew that there was no peace for me until I heard the glorious words of that gospel that Jesus was the only way. And I realized that God had made a way of escape for me through His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And when I came to this knowledge of the reality of a living God, and that truly I could really reach Him, that He could hear me, and that He knew all about the troubles and the burdens that I had, and that He had made a way of escape for me. If this is a crutch, it's the greatest crutch in this world. And do you believe that it could be possible that you hear testimonies from people from such diversified lives, people wealthy, people walking the streets uh, without any hope, drug addiction, alcoholism, lives that are just ripped and torn to shreds, and then suddenly thousands and thousands and thousands of people telling the same story of how their lives were so supernaturally changed when they came to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And as the scriptures say, how could we expect to escape if we neglect so great a salvation? And now I would like you to join me and all the other people here to hear my husband, and I keep saying that, my husband, Tony Alamo, and that I am his greatest fan, and that really is the truth. I love the gospel songs because there is such a message, such a message to the glory of God. And I especially like these old standards. This next song I learned when I was a very, very little girl at an old-fashioned revival meeting in the South. And you know, it still has the same power and it still thrills my soul the same today as it did the first time I ever heard the words to this song. I love to hear all the vocalists sing gospel songs, but I especially like to hear my husband, Tony Alamo, sing gospel songs because I love Tony Alamo. The Lord gave him to me, and I'm thankful to the Lord for every wonderful blessing that he has given me. And now join with us and Tony in the city where the Lamb is the light.